Guess what I got guys? I've only got the Neo 2. Now this came out yesterday. I must have booked it as straight away. I think I went onto the DJI site just before 1 p.m. Now this is in Spain, I think in the UK it was 12 o'clock when it came out. Went on the site just before and um, already booked it. It then come from Italy and DHL then shipped it through the night, obviously. It arrived in Alicante this morning. I got it this afternoon. What service is that? I had this same thing when I had the flip, but I've been so looking forward to this drone because it's, it is a big step up from the other when I've got the Neo. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to tell you about, guys, I've gone for the Combi. So if you've got the RCM3, I'm going to be using my phone. Now you could use a tablet or your Android phone because I've got an iPhone. First thing you need to do first, guys, is power up your batteries, your controller. And once you've done that, you need then to activate the drone. So first thing is to remove one of the batteries. I did find that a little bit fiddly, but like anything else, because it's something new, um, it probably become really easy. So first thing to do is install the battery, press it in. A little bit different setup, I must say. You got release buttons on the side there to take the battery out. So the next thing you need to do, obviously, is remove the gimbal cover. What we're gonna do first, we're just gonna get things set up. So I'm using my RCM3. This is another one, I've got three of them now. <laughs> but you can buy the Neo, obviously, or well, the Neo 2 by itself. But I wanted to get the whole package because my good friend Amit said to me, Sean, don't just get the drone because you end up buying the batteries. And when if you start doing that, it's, it's all extra, isn't it? So anyway, what do, I'm just gonna move some of the stuff. Now I'm not, I'm not doing an unboxing, but you get a spare set of props. We get two, you get um, a cable. Now I've got another package. There's a screwdriver in there, obviously to remove the props. You can take off these guards if you want. I always leave mine on. I think it's handy, just like that. Um, I'm obviously going to be doing loads of more videos on this drone, but I just thought in this video, I'm just going to show you how you activate the drone because for new people that's never flown a drone in their life, it's going to be a little bit baffling. So, got that. Right, the next thing you need to do is obviously you need the DJI Fly app. Now, if you've got an iPhone, you just go onto the app store pretty easy to download. But if you've got an Android phone, it comes a little bit complicated. But thankfully, if you bought the combo pack, then inside the box here, you see fumbles, you got a QR code. So all you do is you scan the QR code with your phone. That'll come up with the, the DJI Fly app. So by doing that, you have the latest um, app, from DJI. One most important thing guys, you have to register your drone. If you don't register your drone, and what I mean by that is you have to set up a DJI account. It's a pretty easy process. I think you can do it for your DJI Fly app. If not, you have to go onto the DJI site, set up a DJI account. It's only an email and a password obviously. And once you set up your account, you can carry on with the DJI Fly app and activate the drone. But without doing that, you cannot fly this drone, guys. So what we need to do next is turn on the controller. Obviously, go into the DJI Fly app. And what you need to do then is turn it on. So anyway, I can see already my RCN3 controller needs an update or firmware update won't be take long if I just put that up there for you so we got that so that's done so the next thing we need to do is to install the aircraft so turn on the drone now if it's your first time it's a double click press it again 
you just let that drone load up. Now it'll be interesting to see, no, not yet, because we're not connected. So I'm talking to myself. We go in to connect the aircraft. Okay, that was rather quick. Now, what might happen, because mine just went straight into it, and I've noticed that it's been happening lately, especially with the newer drones, but what would happen is you activate, uh, it would come up on the screen, the Neo 2, you press that, it will then say connect, it will then, you know, you see, you just follow the instructions on the screen, and where it says press for beeps, you do that, you then hold the power button, I believe, for four seconds. The drone will make a noise and then it's connected. But for some reason, <laughs> it saved me that job. It, and it, that does happen on those, especially with the newer drones. So here we are, activate. And then we activate your drone. And it's a pretty quick process. It doesn't take long. Okay, that's it, it's activated. Okay, so the next thing it's gonna ask you is the DJI Care Refresh. Now, this is entirely up to you guys. I personally never do any of this because the way I see it is, if I've got a Care Refresh, it doesn't cost a lot, but that's there for your own, for you to choose. Um, I just find if I've got this sort of thing, I'm going to take a little bit more of a risk. Now, sometimes I have crashed my drone. If you watch any of my videos, you see me do that. The last major crash was my Mini 4 Pro. I had it for two years. I sort of put it back on its shelf. Anyway, I think a couple of weeks ago, I took the plunge. I contacted DJI online. Um, I sent the drone off on... There was a few things that needed fixing. The bill come to 88 euros. It took less than a week. No, it took me a week, sorry. Um, yeah, amazing service, I must say. But that option's there for you if you want. But you have got 48 hours to think about. So even if you skip it now, it will come up on the screen. It will keep prompting you. And once the 48 hours is gone, I still think even then you could probably could contact DJI maybe if you want to take that fresh out. I'm going to skip that. It's going to confirm that. Okay, so we're out of that. It's going to, okay, it's going to go through before you fly. Now this is something else I think is very useful because it gives you um, some insight into drone flying because some people for some reason don't think you need to be registered. Now, I believe in the US, even though I don't think the US are about to get this drone now. But I believe in the US, you don't have to register it. But most countries, I'm talking about the EU, UK, because it's got a camera and that's got a 4K camera, um, you have to register your drone, guys. So make sure, I don't know if you can see my certificates. I've got one there. <laughs> and I've got one there. But anyway, you, yeah, you have to register it. And you just go through all the stuff. It tells you everything, all the information you need to know. I'm going to press OK because I'm all up to date. OK, so it's saying I've got to install a firmware. So I'm going to install that. OK, um, you can see up on screen, so I'm going to download that. Now this might take a while. Um, and now this is for, which is going to be handy for me because another reason I got the Neo 2 is for my goggles, my FBV Friday series that I do. Uh, and this is for your goggles free and the obviously the motion controller Yeah, looking forward to that Okay, so it's still going one of the things I didn't mention to you guys if you just buy the drone itself You won't get this little Aerial thing on the back and that's your digital transceiver And I thought what's that about anyway? What this is about, obviously it gives you a more distance, and it would be the DJI 04 transmission, which will whack this up to supposedly six kilometers. Now, while, while this is updating, we've got 
Um, it, you, it'll be going through its process. Don't worry about that, just leave it. Don't turn off anything, don't turn off the internet. So it's done it now. What will happen, this drone will turn itself off once it's done. So that's done. We'll come back to the screen. Um, <laughs> I've got quick, I've got so many drones in there, it's picking up other drones. Anyway, we're gonna turn the drone back on. Double click. So it should just go straight back in. So it's GoFly, drone's updated. What we will do, okay, low volume. Don't worry too much about that at the moment. That's probably to do with uh, the controller. Just wanna always do this. Okay, I'll put mine on a bypass. I'm just gonna check um, anything on the screen here. Looks all looking good. I'm going to put mine on the preset. Guys, This that's up to you about that. You can either have an optional or preset. Oh, so I'm going to put mine on the optional. Um, right, okay, that's that done. Control, right. Now I'm going to go into metric. <laughs> I've always been an Imperial man, but I've noticed lately a lot of the stuff now, especially doing precision landing, is seven meters, so I'm going to Put metric on. I've got the large text because I'm an old bloke. I've got to follow. That all looking good. Now, another good thing about this drone, it's got 49 gig internal storage. So you won't need, I don't even think you've got a slot for it. This is how new it is to me. As far as I know, has it even got an S? Fly in well lit, textured environment. Yeah, all right. Sorry, see? Very touchy as well. It hasn't got an SD card slot anyway. So, but 49 gig is plenty good enough. Um, I just wanted to check on the camera. Um, we got it on normal, MP4. Subtitles, it's on auto, anti-flicker. Um, I put on the cross keys, good. So it's, it's remembering what I've got on the other drones, <laughs> which is interesting, okay. So, um, don't need to format it because it's already, I haven't even used it yet. So what I am gonna do, I'm just gonna do a takeoff and just see, I'm gonna come back here a minute because it's, it's always interesting to see what happens. Okay, that's got up really high. Let's bring it back down. So I'm using my controller. It does seem, because this is the first time I've used this, it does seem a little bit quieter. It's not as noisy as the other one, which is good. Definitely quieter than my Fata 2. So I'm really gonna enjoy doing this with FPV. Uh, but I am gonna do a lot more videos. I'm gonna go out tomorrow, we'll just do some basic stuff because the other good thing about this, end of the day, I class it as a vlogging drone. I will class it as my FBV backup drone, but what I will say, you don't even need a controller. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. I'll be going out, I'll obviously be keeping the phone in my pocket, but we can just try flying it without nothing. But what I would recommend guys, if you are buying this, I would get the value pack. I call it the combi pack, didn't I, at the beginning? Um, well, I'm just, before I gabble on anymore, I'm just gonna turn this off. And, oh, don't forget, turn this off, double click, so you see all the lights go off. And one more thing. <laughs> Remember to put on the gimbal cover. All right, so, is this an easy thing to do? I think it is, yes, there we are. Yeah, one of the things, um, I did notice with the, obviously in the O2 is they, they show you this, but if you just buy the drone itself, you won't get this attachment on the back guys. So getting the value pack, I don't know, an extra 70 euros, because you get the batteries, the charger, and this attachment as well to give you that extra space. It could be interesting. And obviously another thing I did notice 
these are quite flexible because what was worrying me a little bit if I'm doing FPV, which I will be bringing out a video Friday, um, next Friday, I should say, um, is going through little holes. <laughs> is that going to be a problem? Unless, you know, I will be, what I will be doing is having this on and having it off. But anyway, that's going to be in other videos. So there you are. I've shown you how to activate it. It'd be great to know if it's your first time, this is your first drone, because I think this is going to be a great drone for Christmas, for first times. I think dads, even granddads like me, uh, will be buying this for other people, except me, of course. <laughs> but anyway, as always, guys, hope you found that interesting. Let me know in the comments if it's your first time buying this drone, or will you just, like me, a bit of a drone nut, got to have everything. Um, be great to hear from about that. Anyway, as always, there's going to be another video coming right sooner.